Welcome back to the channel and another episode of my uh, Concrete Jungle series. It's the morning of day eight. We just finished the horde and we added the point to be able to get a motorcycle. Now, we are missing a few things. Wheels are a problem because we don't have any wheels. Uh, we do only have one bottle of acid, which means we can make one wheel. Uh, I wasn't able to get the um, chassis done because the chassis requires, um, if you do... Ah, motorbike. We, we require a bit of steel. Uh, that's the only thing we're missing is the steel. We need 10 more steel. Which should be no problem. Um, we should be able to wrench that off those transformers. So we're going out to do that this morning. We need to stop at the trader as well. Um, we got to clear and retrieve supplies that I might do today. But I want to really focus on getting that motorbike. So what we're going to do... And I should have brought a repair kit with me. Uh, but I didn't. We're going to go to the, um, going to go around and wrench a few of these transformers. There's two right here we can do. Let's grab up this stuff. Now these things I think give you two or three per. We get a good amount of resources off these things anyway. Not getting anything here. There's one. So I got a bit of wrenching to do. We can probably do lights as well, street lights. Uh, but we need to find acid. And I don't think the trader had it. Um, and he didn't have a wheel. So I'm probably going to roll into town and see if I can find like a working stiffs or something. And then uh, once we find the working stiffs, uh, I'm going to try and raid the back room. And see if we can get ourselves a wheel or acid or something out of one of the boxes. And that being said, we're also going to need gas. Since, like I said, we only have seven gas left after I made all of those Molotovs. Um, which we didn't even use all of them. But better safe than sorry, right? Alright, so I'm going to get get to work. We've got three off that one. got four now. So, so I'm going to get to work doing this. Uh, and I'll meet you when we get to the working stiffs. All right, looks like we're on our last one here that we'll need. I think we need like two, um, two steel, which we should get off of this guy, I think. Um, and then we're done gathering steel. I've gathered a little bit of gasoline as we've gone too. I found a few uh, empty uh, or a few gas cans around. Looks like I'm gonna. This thing's gonna call me a liar. There's one. Only one. Ah, <sighs> really? Okay, so we need to find some cloth. Because I want to be able to make a repair kit here. They really reduce the amount uh, that's required to make repair kits. So it's just like cloth and, uh, or sorry, duct tape and, um, that's a wandering horde, I think. Let's just stay away from them for right now. We got shit to do. Just finished fighting a horde. Don't need to fight another one. Um, yeah, so it's just duct tape and uh, forged iron. I know before it used to be like cloth, forged iron, mechanical parts, and duct tape. Come on, where's that last? Give me a transformer. I don't want to pull the lights apart because the poles just look weird with no light on top of them. So I'm trying to keep the uh, aesthetic going. Uh, let's go around this way. Man, I really love the new... Uh, I know I've said it like a thousand times, but the, the layout of the streets is just so much more natural now than ever. Like, it's just really wonderful. That is some gas cans back here. Or a gas can. Yeah, I hear you. Getting a bit of lag today, too. I think I'm because I'm loading new areas. Like areas I haven't been yet. So it's kind of uh, giving me a bit of lag. What's up, dude? Can you hold this for me? Thank you. That guy gave up. Any gas? All right, let's wrench this car apart. Hopefully, hopefully it's got cloth inside. Wouldn't that be nice? 
Come on, give me cloth. This other idiot's gonna. It's giving me. It gave me the exact opposite of what I needed. Oh, I know. There's a uh, couch over there. Come on, buddy. I may have to restart the game. Look at this. The lag. You're murdering my frame rate for some reason. When I'm looking this way, it's bad. And then this is fine. It's just because of all the uh, the, the blocks and stuff that are loaded in. I guess if I'm looking down, it's easier too. Alright, we got a couple couches up here. Let's grab these real quick. Just don't look up. Grab a bit of this. Let's turn this. Uh, let's make two. And then we can do recipes here. And make two repair kits. Excellent. Now we can keep going. We're all, I'm probably going to have to grab one of these... Uh, Street lights. I can't find another transformer. I like. I was getting a whole bunch of them for a while there, and now I can't find any. Maybe some in a different part of town. I don't know. Like it shouldn't be any different. All right, a little bit of gas. Let's repair you. Uh, so what do we got? Seventeen hundred. Not even enough to fill a tank yet. Oh man. Come on. I still need one steel. And we need acid too. Which means we gotta do some raids of like a working stiff. All right, let's go down. Uh, let's not go downtown. Let's go back to the commercial district. Oh, there's one right there. Right next to downtown. Sure. Do you think a uh, feral will attack me while I'm here? Probably not, right? Probably not. There's the steel we needed. There we go. There's another one. Another one for good luck. Okay, we got 11. Perfect. So let's go... Um, I guess we ride through downtown to head back to the commercial district. Wait, was there, what, there was another one on the other side of the town, right? Like over here. So if we go straight through... And then when we get to just out of downtown, we make a right. Then we should be able to get to an industrial, or sorry, not industrial, uh, commercial area. So I was thinking about what I wanted to do for my horde base. And I wanted to do a combo, like, pipe bomb base slash um, uh, hatch base that I've been using in the past. So... Uh, Probably a modified version of my Darkness Falls base where uh, we'll have the walkway for the zombies to come up to the hatches. We'll have the junk sledge to knock them off. And then the pipe bomb part of it, I'll have like a uh, slot and I'll where the zombies get punted off. Um, Joey's car lot or passing gas. This one's got... Hmm. Collision Center looks pretty big. That might actually be a good run. I'm just thinking, where would I find Auto Wash? Most like, more likely in the Collision Center, I would imagine. Uh, let's get these guys out of the way here. Street zombies. Yeah. Deal a death blow to this guy if we can. Not quite. He's a little tougher than I thought he would have been. But yeah, it's going to be a combination of pipe bomb slash um, uh, I got talking and playing at the same time. It's a pipe bomb slash uh, walkway base. So they'll be coming up to the um, Coming up the walkway, getting punted off by the, uh, uh, scrap this, repair this, we can sell it. Um, they'll get, 
they'll get punted off by the junk sledge. And then um, as they're getting punted off, they're going to fall into like, like not a full pit, but a partial pit. And I'm going to have a window from where I'm standing where I can see um, that, that pit and I'll just drop stuff into it. It's going to be, I mean, a lot of, uh, a lot of YouTubers have done like something similar. Uh, but it's going to be, uh, this one will be slightly different because the pit's not going to be one of those massively deep pits where they fall way down and you drop, or it's not going to have doors that open or any of that stuff. It's just going to be like a small little two block deep pit. Uh, that actually helps my frame rate by turning the light off. Nice. Like a two block deep pit that's going to just um, allow for um, uh, the holding of like pipe bombs and stuff. So when I throw them down there, it's just going to focus on the one area. Um, let's put some stuff in the bike here before we go in here. Oh, for fuck's sakes, go away. Uh, let's put this in there. Uh, probably not going to need that on this. That can go in there. That can go in there for now. Just trying to think of the stuff we're going to find when we're inside. Oh, another one of you guys, eh? That guy almost took a full clip, man. That guy almost took a full clip, and look at this tryhard. Okay, I don't care about the front office. I want the uh, back garage. Can we get in here? It's locked. It might be better to go. Uh, through houses, but I'm really hoping that, um, yeah, I don't like that. I don't see any boxes. The lag is intense though. I'm wondering if my drive is like scanning for something. Because I can hear it grinding away. There's the wheel. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we got one acid at home. That's all we need. That's all we need. Well, after all that complaining and I don't find any boxes and this, that, and the other thing, we find a whole wheel. So now I need coal. I'm trying to think what else I need for the wheel. We got the forged steel. I got the plastic. I just need a little bit of coal. And I think, if I'm not mistaken... There's coal on the ground here. What's up, you? The lag. Holy moly. Holy moly, cow. Oh, hey, you. Out of stamina. But I want to set the base up when we when I get it set up. We're going to have the typical electric fences like we always do. Um, but then I want to also have um, the SMG turrets set up to handle the zombies on the walkway. Because I think the more that they get shot and fall over into the pit, the better. So the goal will be to set it up so that when the zombies get shot, um, they'll, like, when they get to their that first uh, level, they're going to fall off and go into the pit. Um, we don't need any more than that. That's fine. Now we can go home and make that wheel. Got the steel. I have everything else for the for the chassis. I think that's all we need. And we got plenty of time. It's like 11 o'clock. We should have the, the second part made by... I don't know what time. Maybe like 1 o'clock. And we got the motorbike. Then we can zip out and see wrecked and... Go dig up that buried treasure. Uh, we got enough lockpicks. We should be able to get into it okay. I think they upped the hit points on um, how much it takes to break into one of those. I think it was like 
at one point in time it was 5,000, then they made it 7,000 and locked it so you needed lock picks. And then now I think it's like 10,000 or something like that. It's a lot of hit points anyway. Uh, where's our house? Over here. Okay, so we got the acid. Uh, what else do we need to make? We need oil. Uh, forged iron we have on us. Uh, polymers, which we had on us anyway. The coal. I think that's it, right? Um, so, wheel. And then... Chassis, what are we missing against? The forged steel, duct tape, leather, and electrical parts. So, forged steel, duct tape, uh, electrical parts are where? Right here. Right? Wait, what else are we missing? Oh, leather. Derp. Alright, chassis, get that crafting. All right, let me get this stuff put away, and we'll come back and assemble the motorcycle. All right, so that's the last bit of the motorcycle, and bing. And let's get that put together. So yeah, we're going to go out, and what time of day is it? Ah, it's almost 1 o'clock, just what I thought. So we're going to go out, and uh, we're going to go grab that um, Sarah's treasure chest over here. So let's put that on our heads-up display. Um, so Sarah's treasure map, activate. Interested to see now. So game stage 25. After the horde. So we killed, I guess it was, a, maybe we killed a bunch today, so less than 50 zombies on horde night. Because we were, what, 153, I think, before horde, and we must have killed, like, maybe 10 today. So less than 50 on horde night. So that wasn't too bad, a horde night. We probably got to handle that out the front door here. Not too much of an issue. Um, so we're halfway to the next level. Let's get the motorcycle and whatever. So we're going to need to get more gas. No cars anywhere here. Let's bring the bicycle inside. This is the in case we get killed somewhere else and respawn here at home. We got some way to get out there. And let's take... Is this a blue die? Take that off, because we're going to die our motorbike. Put that in there. Oh, do we have anything? We don't have anything to sell. Um, 36 seconds. Getting really excited. Day 8, we got a motorcycle. That's awesome. Now, we don't have a lot of, a lot of uh, points spent on actually being able to fight zombies, but who cares? Alright. I bet you we find uh, nerdy glasses out at the uh, at Trader Wrecked. What's our skills like? So yeah, there's like, so perception, we've got one point in Demolitions Expert, which I, I guess helped out a little bit on Horde Night. One point in Pummel Pete, Sex Rex, Master Chef, Minor 69er. Then nothing in Fortitude, nothing in Agility. And then, yeah, Advanced Engineering and all our points sunk into Intellect. Which is unfortunate because I was really open for those nerdy glasses, but what do you do? We're at where we're at now. I'm just wondering, like, if riding the motorbike is going to cause, like, issues. Actually, let's leave that down. Uh, you know what? The weather cleared up. It's a little less laggy. Definitely less laggy when I'm not looking at the city, though. Okay, let's put the motorbike down. And let's dye it. Put you in there. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Let's go. Saddest little helper riding in style. All right, so we're going to beat our way out there. I'm probably going to have to pull apart some cars along the way because I don't think our gas situation is going to hold up. Um, hopefully, I mean, I guess our next point should be into scientist or whatever that is. Is it scientist? Um, that gives us the uh, the chem station and um, first aid bandages and stuff. 
I don't know when we're able to make our own gas. And I think I sold the gas can recipe, which was probably a bad idea. But, I mean, we could go at some point and at least um, be able to make our own gas. Alright, well, I'll manage to find a small country back road here. Let's see if we can kill this deer by running into it. Really? See ya. Alright, well. Alright, looks like we're just inside the boundaries to the uh, snow biome, which is actually pretty good. Let's park right here. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I'd really love to mess around with you. But I really need you dead now. Oh, you fucking drama queen. Look at that guy. Jesus Christ. Oh, you killed me. Oh. I'm dying. Alright, let's take this tree down. <laughs> We're gonna dig down in here. I'm gonna do it like I used to do in the old days. Um, dig straight down in the center and then just like fan out from underneath. It's probably the quickest way to try and find this treasure. Alright, we finally found it took a little bit and it was like hidden so now it's down one layer from before down in the rock layer you got to dig down one more layer to get to it I'm not exactly sure why that is but let's unlock this sucker there we go I think it was like five lock picks oh okay uh, no coin robotic parts all right well okay I mean, I guess that would be really good for early st stage of the game, but could have done with some coin. All right, let's get down to Rex. Uh, where are you, Rex? Um, south. So heading down to Rex, I came across this big, massive lake. Look at this. I thought for a second it was the edge of the map, but it's not. It's actually a lake. Pretty cool. Alright, we're almost there. So I was able to wrench a few cars on the way to the treasure site. So we do... I mean, we're at 32% of gas already. Um, so hopefully that'll bring us up over half again. And then we should have plenty to get back home. Uh, let's go in the back door. It's nice that he's got two entrances now. You can go in the front or the back. I'm hoping that they... Um, do that for all the traders, have more than one entrance? Ah, uh, of course. Come on, buddy, bring it in. Free love. And... Yep! Alright, uh... I've added a thousand, that's not bad. Alright, what's up, buddy? Wipe that shit off your boots you before shut you come up. into my shop! Shut up! Shut up, shut up already. Alright, you got robotic parts gunpowder we're gonna buy right away. Uh, Alright, let's quick, take a quick look here, see if you've got anything really good. Needle and terror we already got. Shotgun choke we don't need. Oh, we've got a couple things to sell you. We can sell you that. I can sell you that. I can sell you the plastic. I can sell you all of these. That's 650. Not a lot, but something anyway. Alright, robotic parts. There's the crickets. Wasteland treasures. Harvest coffee for bones and precious gems. Yeah, that's one of those things that it's nice to get if you find it, but if not really worth buying unless you're trying to complete a set, I think. Whole lot of nothing here. Wow. It's almost like no reason to come out here. Oh, you got two bottles of acid too, eh? Alright. Oh, if we're going to make a chem station, we're going to need acid. So that might be a buy for us. Robotic parts might be a buy too. Ah, uh, to make a junk sledge. Um... Plus, I want to, like, once we get the drones, like, the the, the uh, drone schematic, I'm going to buy all this. Once we get the drone schematic, I want to be able to make that drone and have it come around. Although, I've watched YouTubers play with the drone following them around, and it just freaks me out. Because oh, I keep thinking they're going to get attacked. Goods and that's all you buy. Well, like a bird or whatever, but I guess you get used to it flying behind you. But it's just a weird kind of, like, feeling, I guess. Alright, let's get home. 
65% gas. We got enough? Probably. One thing I am going to do real quick. I'm just going to stop here at the desert. Uh, let's repair this. I'm going to grab a little bit of sand. Because we do have a crap ton of um, cement. But no sand to be able to make... Uh, uh, really barely getting any out of this, eh? We've got no sand to be able to make um, concrete. Yeah, I'm not going to spend my time doing this. This is like... I'm getting half clay, really? Okay. It's not really worth it until I get better tools and ability to one-shot it. Crawler's still hanging around our start location. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hello. Complaints go here. Ah, oh, bikers are better than skaters anyway. Wrong place, wrong time. So I think we left Rex with like 54% fuel or something like that. We got here with 42, so it's only 12% to get there and back, which is actually pretty good. Which means moving around town shouldn't be too, too bad. I was worried that it was going to take too much gas to be driving the motorcycle every day, but I think we should be able to easily get enough gas to, to, uh, to maintain that. I don't think anything needs to go in here except for one egg. And we had a bit of ammunition today. A little bit of gunpowder. All right, gunpowder stock slowly going back up again. Now, how many drone parts do we have? Robotic parts, four. That's it, eh? That's all we got, huh? That's all we got? Well, sure. I guess, did I sell the other robotic parts we found? Or did we find any? I can't remember. How are we doing here? Alright, 500 and something. I think we're going to hold on to the, the sand that we do have because I may want to make some jars out of it so we can make some more Molotovs. How many... Well, I mean, I'll worry about that before hoarding it, I guess. Like, we're going to need more, definitely more than this for the next horde. Right? I got a feeling we're going to at least use... I don't know, maybe a stack of shotgun ammo... Hopefully we find a better shotgun and probably a stack of 7.62. We may end up doing the same thing we just did, but finding a bit, little bit more of a secure location until I can figure out where I can build my horde base. And that's one of the things I think we need to do in the next few episodes. Uh, maybe we do... Because we don't really have to concentrate too much on, on doing the jobs for the trader anymore. Because really it was for getting the bicycle... And then getting a mini bike, but since we have a motorcycle now, there's not much we can like. I mean, we'll get a, a little bit of money, a little bit of rewards for doing quests for him right now, but it's not vital we actually do it. That's a wandering horde. Anyway, it's not vital that we actually do it. So, um,. Yeah, I think we just kind of casually pull one off. Like, if we can do one a day, I think that'll be fine. And then we got to figure out where we're going to build our final base, like our final horde base. And I was thinking about, like, eventually moving our house there, too, which we probably will. Like, keep this place, uh, but, like, move a house. And I think if we're going to build our horde base, it maybe should be closer to downtown. Because I don't want to have to build more than one. Yeah, let me think about it. Maybe we build it on, like, let's have a look at the map real quick. So I discovered a, actually, let's do this before I forget. I'm just going to mark this. Drop. So I can get rid of this marker. Now, I did notice a, when we were driving around looking for steel, there was a construction site here. This is it here. So there's a lot of materials we can go there and harvest. Wow, I'm surprised we haven't actually explored this part of the town yet. But it's so big, like you know what I mean? Like the It's just a little a little bit a little bit bigger. This is the normal size of towns that show up in seven like in the uh, when they spawn and you'll get a trader and this will be the town that you're in. But the cities like I generated is so big it's like <laughs> we never like, we never leave, need to leave the city. I was actually thinking, there's got to be a way you can actually set that up. Like, generate a town. And then, like, so it'll be like a town like this. 
and so that this is the only thing that spawns do a small map and then change the tile size on the town from like I think it's like small is five the biggest is eight change the tile size to like small is 50 big is 80 and then it, it would just fill up like most of the map right <laughs> and then it, you would just be living in a like in a town or like maybe have it so there's only one city can generate but it's spread across like a 4k map so the whole thing is just one city right there's got to be a way you can I, I may play around with it and just see if i can do it and then the whole map like you would have the four sectors but it would all be one city and it would just be massive city spread and it would just you'd be surviving in a concrete jungle the entire time so it would make things like you know finding like nodes to mine like really really difficult because you're not they don't pop up generally in a city like you never see them inside the city bounds right i mean we did we did see the coal node like right here right but they generally don't pop up in the city anywhere so you probably won't find them oh there's another construction site right here too um let's do that for both of these. I thought I had seen one up here before, and then I, I, as we were going down, I never saw it. So there's two of them. Anyway, um, but yeah, you could make the whole thing one big city because, I mean, look at this. Downtown core is pretty cool, right? It's pretty huge. And there's all this down here still too, right? Like there's the industrial district. Like it would just be one massive city. I just, I would love to see what that, I mean, I should probably try and just, the map would be so sluggish though, like it would just be so ridiculously sluggish. But anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Um, I'm going to try and decide where we're going to do a horde base. Maybe it's going to be here. Maybe we build it like right in here on the edge of downtown. Um, I'm just worried about lag during the, uh, the horde it should probably be fine or maybe we find a place like at a downtown intersection and build it right in the downtown intersection it's going to be a nightmare like we have to have like we're going to have, have to have half decent gear when we do that because the zombies are just going to come from everywhere to get us or we maybe we build it on top of the bridge no because then if they knock the supports this whole bridge comes down it would just be ridiculous or we could go here you know what I mean? There's so many options of where to build it. But I think it's got to be either in the um, the commercial district or the downtown district, one or the other. Or, I mean, maybe we spend tomorrow going and looking at the industrial district because maybe there's like an industrial building down here that's going to be perfect for a horde base. Anyway, I got to think about that. Um... Yeah, but I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.